Hello everybody. In this tutorial I'm about to talk about MATLAB QC software which is used to quality control different analyzes in a medical laboratory. There are different parts on the main screen of software. For example on the top we have parameters which is used to define analyte, define a control material of course to specify name to each operator that is using this software on the configuration part we have backup password we can specify and determine password for each part of the uh, software in order to not allow everybody to make changes uh, on the data We have a statistical risk which is related to confidence interval uh, which is usually um, determined on 95 percent. File is for export data and also to import data from uh, specific formats. Clipboard is for copy and paste data. Special function which is one of the most important of uh, parts of this software by using this part we can lock limits we can fix them but we do not use fixed limits in medical laboratory we can erase archive levels we can archive each level that uh, has been reached to a, a specific number of uh, entered controls random generator is used for educational purposes and we have clear queue on the bottom of the page we have data table which is all the data that has been shown on these charts date and time another column we have different control levels the name of operator will be shown here and of course we have comment for some situations that uh, there is a problem in daily QC we have daily QC for each uh, for each day we have uh, some data that will be shown here control limits that is calculated when we use lock limits that I explained on the part of special functions name of control materials that we define on parameters lot number QC mode as I told before is for lock limits target that is the mean for a specific number of data warning limit that is two standard deviation and action limits is for three standard deviation this reference interval is the limit that we chose the data from that and locked it in order to calculate these parameters the number of points that was 26 reference CV we can use common CV there or we can specify a CV that the software we will automatically calculate it for each level of control for example if I put a check in this box we see it's common and the same for three different levels you pick that up you see there are different CVs degree of freedom is number of data minus one 
that here is for each level 25 because we have 26 numbers or data and for common CV we have 75 press OK we can print these charts we can assign lot to each level of control for analyte we can archive them for for the last word for this session I want to define a new analyte we go to parameters analytes in this field we can define a new analyte for example I wanna define hemoglobin and in the next field we should choose the number of levels that we want to use for this analyte I choose two levels this field is for uh, specifying a unit for the analyte hemoglobin is based on gram per deciliter from drop down list we choose gram per deciliter but we do not have gram per deciliter so we choose gram per liter and add a D before the L letter the next one is decimal the number of decimal the maximum one is three but we put one decimal for this analyte and now we press the add to list button and it comes here hemoglobin two levels of control unit is gram per deciliter and number of decimals is one this is the list of analyze after uh, defining a new one or by using replace in list we can edit one of the for example about albumin after clicking on it the data is shown here for example we add one another level to this analyte and oops add to list is not possible because it is duplicate it's been repeating so what can we do is to replace in list and that's all albumin has been replaced by two levels this time before leaving the window we have to press OK in order to be saved and now we have hemoglobin on the right side right side of the screen so we have to define control material for this analyte these are uh, control materials that has been defined before the name of material is for example R&D and the lot number for example is 1123 it's just a test and for educational purposes and uh, we do not have a real lot here so we press another another time add to list and we define the control material we press OK in order to be saved and from here assign lot as I told before we have the control materials here we need to assign as you see here we need to assign control materials for each level we assign R&D for first level we press change only the assignment on materials validated by pressing this item R&D and, 
and next we define a new one P P for pathologic the lot number for example is 11 12 13 we press add to list it's shown here press OK and now we assign it for this analyte for the pathologic level press change only the assignment and now we have two levels of control for hemoglobin on the next video I'll tell you about how to enter data and how we interpret the charts okay that's all for now thank you